Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your Lion's Gate Shadow Period reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Cancer, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was BMO by Ari Lennox. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. So BMO stands for Break Me Off. And I heard, like I literally heard the universe about to break you off proper, like in a good way, okay? Financially and when it comes to um, relationships. I do feel like there's increase surrounding you. This is going to be a very powerful and um, substantial um, Lion's Gate energy for you guys and uh, as I'm saying the shadow period we're talking about leading up to that 8-8 portal I feel like some of you guys are going to see things moving in your desired direction is what I'm picking up for you all okay also Ari happens to be an Aries so some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries individual Aries someone rising Venus also I was got to look at the first you know the last couple of cards in the back of the deck you have the page of cups i definitely feel like you guys have some new love coming in you guys have manifested it because he's going right in the direction of the major arcana and the magician that is virgo gemini and then you have the moon piscean energy and there you go coming about that water something is coming to the surface i feel like a love interest is coming to the surface but you some of you guys are going to be a fellow water sign specifically pisces but also it could be another cancer or this person could have some strong cancer places because it is the moon this person could have a cancer moon also, things that you felt like were holding you back in the past can no longer hold you back. You see how there's chains on that crab? And again, you guys are the crab. Okay, I just heard the lion and the wolf. You do have two wolves here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are falling in love with someone who is opposite of you. But it works is what I'm getting. Okay, you guys, right in smack dab in the middle, you have Major Arcana and Magician. Some of you guys have definitely manifested this new love and this new change. You also have manifested freedom from any type of restraints and constraints, okay? Again, because you have the crab being pulled out the water by the, by the chains there. Some of you guys have felt restrained in some area, possibly when it comes to matters of the heart or when it comes to your emotions, because you got a lot of water here, okay? So, you know, cups and waters, emotions and feelings. So when it comes to matters in regards to your emotions, you guys are releasing something that was weighing you down, okay? That's what I'm getting also. Also, I'm going to say again, the universe is getting ready to manifest some money for a lot of you all. Because if you notice the, the element of all four, earth, air, fire, and water, the pinnacle is closest to him. And then you have that green orb in the background. It does look like money could be on some of you guys' mind. You see how the, that orb is around his head. So a lot of you all have money on your mind right now during this time, okay? So let's change the cards at the top and the bottom. We do the same for your clarifying deck. And you guys know it's always there's absolutely no reversals right now. But once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Um, I'm also going to do this a little differently. You guys know I always get the card that comes before and after your major arcana, which is the um, chariot. I'm being guided to get the card that comes before both the chariot and the strength card because, again, we're talking about lion's gate and energy. We're not talking about the cards that go behind because we want to see what's future looking, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the seven of pentacles. We are currently in the seventh month. I'm going to say again, some of you guys, if you felt like you were lacking financially, you have finances coming in for you. In a positive way, absolutely, absolutely. You're going from a worker bee to the queen bee. You got the queen of swords. Um, queens are very well off, wealthy, and abundant. If you're a male, female, just put it where it applies. This is someone who's going from someone who has to do manual work. And that's not to say that you won't have to actually go to work and things like that. But things won't feel like so much of a struggle. You're going to feel, look at this. They're facing each other. So this is coming in soon for a lot of you all. And I like this energy for you. Yep, you were going through some hardships, some difficulties. The last nine months could have been very difficult for you because you have the nine of wands here. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior. So I feel like a lot of you all felt like depleted because, again, her basket is empty. That's talking about something being depleted or lacking. You're coming out of that, though, and that's what I'm getting right here also. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the deck a couple times. Yeah, I like this. As soon as I parted, Six of Pentacles, things are getting ready to be balanced. Those scales are getting ready to be balanced, especially with your finances. Okay, um, your home life as well. Yeah, it felt like very heavy. You had the Nine of Wands, now you got the Ten of Wands, and they're facing each other. So you felt like things were very happy, uh, heavy when it came to your finances. But look here, 
big boss shit energy so you got aries energy again and remember it's, wow remember i was saying ari lennox the song that i heard bmo she's an aries and you got aries energy here so some of you guys definitely have an aries person coming in you have wands twice okay fire energy um some of you guys, you have a fire sign who's coming in. This person may have been in a relationship for the last nine years and they are now single. And even though that may be a bit alarming for you, I do feel like this person is ready for something. This person has a game plan. Like this person knows what to do this time around to avoid some type of disaster when it comes to love is what I'm getting. Yep. You guys got new love coming in. For sure. You got the lovers card. Wow. So you already had the magician as Gemini, also Virgo, and then you have lovers as Gemini also. Some of you guys definitely have a Gemini coming in, or you know, like I said, you have a lover, you have a long-term companion coming in. Okay. This person first middle last initial or yours could be C G M W S T or K. I'm also getting E right now. Okay, V. I heard Vivian and Victoria. Okay. I'm also getting Victorian, like somebody may like Victorian style clothing. You have the High Priestess here, Major Arcana, Piscean Energy. Someone's first, middle, last in this year could be J B C O U M H. I'm also getting K. Your intuition is guiding you in the direction that you need to go in. So you really need to listen to your gut feeling right now because you already got the playbook. You already know what moves to make and you just have to go for it. Yep. A lot of you guys are getting ready to meet somebody new. And it's going to be, if you're already in a relationship, it looks like things are ascending because she's ascending out of that water. Things are ascending to a higher level of commitment. Because the four of wands is marriage, long-term commitment. Also, twin flames. And it's so, oh my God, I should have said it earlier because now you guys ain't going to believe me. Okay. <laughs> because I did pick up earlier, some of you guys could be a twin flame or get ready to meet your twin flame. Or you could also be like literally a twin, like you may have been born a twin. Or your person may have been born a twin. Or twins could run in somebody's family is what I'm getting also. And that's very interesting because I never get that message, but I am getting that right now. Because you have on each side that those two poles and then you have that on there also. So, yeah. You guys' finances are getting ready to get better. Okay? So, let me go ahead and go through the deck. Again, we're going to get your major arcana, the chariot, and the card that comes before it. And then also the strength card and the card that comes before that. And then we'll get clarifiers. Okay? Look, are you guys looking at this? Okay. So you have the cherry right in front of it is the page of cups again. And then you got the magician. You guys are manifesting a new love. Okay. You And new stars. Pages talk about newness. Also, some type of communication is going to come in. Um, pages are always messengers. You guys got some type of new communication coming in. And I feel like it has to do with your moolah. Okay. So you have the king of pentacles. Something about your monies could be involved in a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. Whatever the case, it just looks like there's an upgrade. Okay. You're literally going from page energy to king energy. You also just had the queen, right? We had the queen of swords. And a king and queen, those are pairs. Even though they're not the same element, that's a pair. So that means you. this will be somebody who will be on the same wavelength as you. This person will be wanting the same thing that you want when it comes to love. And I'm going to say again, a lot of you guys are getting ready to manifest more money literally getting ready to manifest more money okay so we're looking for the strength card the card that comes before the strength card and we're going to clarify that four okay there was a strength card for cancer sun moon rise and venus so right in front of it you just have the king of pentacles look what's right in front of you the queen of pentacles you guys look at that brand new stars with your money brand new stars with love i'm trying to tell y'all y'all this is gonna be a good time for you all for sure okay full card taking a leap of faith into something new i kept saying with that you right here you have gemini and then you already had the lovers also and in one hand he has gemini and the other here's your energy cancer and this is also the card of aries and aquarius so you guys have brand new stars. i'm telling you with your money and with your heart. Because I just want you to see the cards that are surrounding you all. When it comes to your money and your heart, you got brand new stars. Um, for some of you guys, this person could be a little bit younger than you. Or they could look younger than their age. But some of you all, I'm also getting, I just have to be real. Some of you all may feel like this person comes off as emotionally immature. Because cups is the emotions and feelings. But I feel like you should give this person a chance. Because it does look like you guys have more in common than it may seem like initially, okay? And for those of you who are already in relationships, I feel like you may have known this person for a while and you've watched this person grow and evolve in your relationship. So I'm telling you right now, you keep getting marriage energy here. You keep getting marriage energy, uh, companionship. If you're not living with this person, you guys could be looking for homes together, okay? 
also for some of you all, if you're single, you can meet this person while you're out with friends and family celebrating something or someone. Because you'll be celebrating somebody's birthday in Leo season. Let's part the deck. Wow. So you got the Ace of Wands. Something brand new is coming in for you guys in Leo season. I'm telling you for sure. I also feel as though some of you guys are dealing with someone who is very well endowed. Okay. Um, also a lot of strong sexual chemistry between you and this person as well. Okay. So let's get a clarifier for the Page of Cups as well as the... So you guys got a karmic person coming in. Sometimes somebody that there's some type of attachment with. You see how they're bound here, and then you see how he has this karmic contract for sure. Somebody that you have a contract with. Now I'm also gonna say because you do have this card right next to the Four of Wands reverse, some of you guys could be leaving a karmic relationship also. And but it does look like something new is coming in to replace it. Wow. Okay, so I just heard the song BMO again. The name of that is Break Me Off. And you have the Ace of Wands just a few minutes ago, and that Ace of Wands that is a very phallic and sexual energy. Look at this. Lion's Gate. Yeah. So, I also feel like if there was any type of negative attachments, because again, there's those chains there, you're releasing that. You're releasing negative attachments in Leo season, especially in August during that 8-8 eight, eight Lion's Gate energy. You're releasing, yeah, 8-8, eight, eight, I just said 8-8, eight, eight, and now you have the 8 of Pentacles. Yep. So you're releasing things that no longer work for you because the eight of pentacles is putting in the work. The actual nine to five also. Things that don't work for you, you're releasing that shit. And I just seen the sun card, Leo again. This is going to be a very good time for you all. Bottom of the deck, you have the moon in reverse. And remember, you had the moon earlier on in your pre-shuffle. The moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about in reverse. Things that you were confused about, you're getting clarity about. And I feel like for a lot of you all, there's some clarity coming in as far as you know, your finances, like you may have been confused about how to gain more, get more money, save more money. Some of you are starting a business. I feel like you're going to be getting clarity about that. Let's get a clarifier for the page of cups. Okay. So you got the sun card flipping up in reverse. Hmm. This just goes back. Okay. Gotcha. Woo. I just want you guys to see. You guys see I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Look at the cards you got in reverse. So you got the sun reverse, the world card reverse, and then a death card in reverse. This, these two cards right next to each other telling me everything I know. The death in reverse means an ending has not, something has not completely wrapped up. And then the world card in reverse talks about a cycle not ending. So you have two cards of something not ending and it's blocking a new start. That's exactly what that is. So what's getting ready, what you're getting ready to acknowledge coming into this, because this is for a pre, this is a shadow period for the Lion's Gate. And look at it, he's facing it. What you guys are acknowledging during this time is that there's certain things that need to end in your life before you can have a brand new start. Because the sun talks about newness, abundance, happiness, joy, contentment. And reverse is like not lacking joy. But I feel like what you're getting ready to realize and what this pre-shadow period is telling you is to acknowledge that there's cycles. And these are major arcana, so it's definite. There's cycles that need to end that you have not allowed to end completely and that's blocking that happiness now keep in mind this is for the shadow period this does not mean that you can't change that or that it won't change this is during this time period you're going to acknowledge the fact that something is being blocked okay something is being forward moving is being blocked because something has not ended that's major arcana so that's that's ain't no getting away from that that's definite energy okay so let's get a clarifier for the queen of pentacles. Yep. And it's stopping for a movement. And this is your energy chariot at the very bottom of the deck. Wow. So upright, he's moving away from this home or a place of employment. In reverse, he's not going anywhere. So they're saying like there's something. This is just, woo, this is very clear for you guys. During this shadow period, you guys are going to realize that something is blocking you from abundance and love. You need to move away from patterns repetitive cycles with an ex, repetitive cycles with jobs that don't make you happy, but you're staying because of financial reasons, okay? Because even though she has this money in her hand, she doesn't look very happy. She just kind of looks like she's just there. She's just present. So let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles for the strength card. Yep, something with your money. You got the Two of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to say there's two big things in your life that need your focus and your attention. Wow, are you guys looking at this? So you got the two of pentacles in reverse. Didn't I say from the very beginning of your reading, love and money. Look what's right in the middle. Lion. They're in lion's gate. Okay. So I'm going to tell you right now, there. the message for this is that there's two things that you really need to focus on. You need to get on that ship and move on, move forward and, and leave something behind so that you can have this happily ever after. 
The Two of Cups is reunions coming together. This is talking about being on the same accord, seeing eye to eye. An equal exchange. So I feel like when it comes to your place of employment, you may not feel like you're getting everything that you want. And when it comes to love, it's, it's it could be a continuous cycle with somebody specific. You see how this looks like almost like the infinity symbol. So this is somebody that you have strong energy cords with, and that goes back to the double energy. That strong energy cords with somebody that you um you may have a repetitive cycle, repetitive situations where you keep dating the same type of person. And they're telling you that it's time for you to step outside that box and meet somebody who, or connect with somebody or allow somebody. Like I said, I feel like for some of you guys, when you meet this new person, you may not because their backs are facing each other. They may not be your type initially, but it's, it's needing you to be open to someone or something new when it comes to love because this person will be more aligned with you. And again, this is the pre-shadow, you know, this is the shadow, shadow period for the Lionsgate time frame. So they're saying like this is the stuff that's going to be a strong focal point for you so that you can acknowledge it so that you can move forward into your abundance. Because I feel like just repetitive cycles is blocking your abundance. But here's the thing. You had the two of pentacles in reverse and it ended right behind it with the two of cups. So it does look like things are going to pan out in your favor and they're going to balance out because two talk about balance. Now, if you would have had both of these in reverse, it's like things are not balanced. You have one in reverse. And these are cycles, continuous cycles, and that's why there's they're not there's not balance there. But it looks like going into Leo season at Lionsgate, and of course we are in Leo season now, but Lionsgate specifically, there's going to be more balance established for you all. And that's going to be amazing for you. Okay? So, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.